Cue the music, tighten your seatbelts, and buckle up for a ride into the intricate world of rice trading. In recent news, the National Food Authority, or the NFA in the Philippines, has found itself in hot water, losing a whopping P112 million. This financial stumble resulted from selling 150,000 bags of rice to traders at prices lower than production costs. The story unfurls in early March 2024, when the NFA, amidst allegations of corruption, made the controversial decision to sell these bags of rice. This move was not just a financial disaster, but also cast a long shadow of doubt on the integrity of the organization. This led to the suspension of the involved NFA officials, pending a thorough investigation. The fallout from this event was swift and decisive. The NFA Council, in an attempt to manage the situation, appointed an interim officer to take over operations during the tumultuous suspension period. As the dust settled, the retail price of rice showed signs of dropping due to the peak harvest season. However, the rice saga doesn't end here. Amid threats of El Nino, the Philippines saw a steep increase in rice imports. In the first two months of the year alone, rice imports surged by 85% year-on-year. This move was to ensure that the supply of this staple food was uninterrupted, irrespective of the environmental conditions. To summarize, the NFA's decision to sell rice below production costs led to substantial financial losses and allegations of corruption. The aftermath of this decision has seen a reshuffling within the organization and a potential drop in retail rice prices. Meanwhile, the country has ramped up its rice imports to safeguard against any potential shortage. This event serves as a stark reminder of the delicate balance that exists in the world of trade and commodities. It underscores the importance of responsible decision-making and transparency in operations. In the grand scheme of things, this incident will undoubtedly serve as a case study for future generations on the consequences of poor management and the absence of effective checks and balances. So there you have it, a tale of rice, losses, and lessons learned. As the NFA navigates through this storm, the world watches and waits to see how this saga will unfold and what impact it will have on the global rice trading landscape.